YouTube. Time to show you the next step for this blade. I've got the layout of the knife that I'm going to turn this into. I've got it glued to the steel. I've got my red die cam or marking fluid all the way around. I'm going to use this device here to scribe my lines. That way it's etched into the steel so that eventually when the paper here starts to come off as I'm grinding all this excess off, I'll still have the pattern outlined on the steel. So that's uh, the next step. I think it's a good shape, good uh, profile for a throwing knife. Not the standard throwing knives like what I have in my garage. But uh, yeah, we're going to go from there and get to grinding. Well, we're all clamped up. Um, I'm going to grab the angle grinder or disc grinder and just start going across until I get to this line or close to that line. I'll flip it over and round out the underside. Um, I'm not going to bother recording all that because it's loud and it's probably boring for you guys to watch aside from watching the sparks fly. So I'll uh, get back on when I have the, the spine of the blade ground down. All right, everybody. All the grinding work is done. I've got it profiled real close to how I want it. I left some meat on it because I have to normalize it, heat it, and then I'm going to quench it. And once it's quenched and hardened is when I'm going to do all my finish sanding and everything on it. And put my bevels on the blade. I think uh, it's coming along pretty good. So far it's stayed together. Um, I think this twist will look kind of cool. I'm hoping we'll see a pattern when uh, I acid etch it. But uh, time to get the forge heated up so I can get this normalized which is a heating sequence uh, about three times. Get it forging hot, take it out, let it dry to t uh, dry. <laughs> let it cool to touch, put it back in. But yeah, you repeat that three times and that, that normalizes it and then get it hot enough to quench. And that's gonna be the next step. So I'm gonna fire up this forge and get it hot. The forge is hot, the blade is hot, I tend to bring it out, let it cool down. <clears throat> um, yeah, I'm not going to bore everybody too much, I hope, but I want to talk about motivation. What motivates me is people that encourage me, people that give comments and stay positive. And uh, Chris, thank you. I would love to get 100 subscribers. I'd like to get a lot more than that. But word doesn't really seem to spread about my channel. And I'm not sure how else to really advertise it. But uh, yeah, we're going to make this thing look real nice. But uh, thanks again for your patience, and uh, we get this ready to go back in the forge. So this is the third step in normalizing, getting it nice and hot, take it out. Yeah, buddy, that is looking nice. Um, the next heat, I'm going to quench it, see what happens. Hopefully I don't get any uh, snaps or pings or warps or anything. I left it kind of thick so I can work on it if I do get any issues, but uh, I'm excited. This is, it's getting there, coming together. All right, time to quench. Hope it all goes well.
don't see any warps. And there it is. So, let this thing cool down and then uh, next step is uh, clean up and probably going to temper it today. So, thanks for watching y'all. Appreciate it. Enjoy your Sunday.